<laughs> Let's get started. We can't. We're losing yeah, all this I good know. stuff. Yeah, okay. come on. You'll we'll start with you reading that, and you can fill in the blank however yeah. you like. Yes, oh, yeah, right that, here. First of all, what do you think you're giving direction to him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How dare you? I come in immediately. You're telling me what to do. That's not how it works. Okay. I'm a boss. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Conan. Yeah, that's do fair. Do I have to do this? You do. Okay. You have to listen to him. He's the, he's really in charge. He puts it all together. Okay. First of all, this is a surprise to me. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a lot of surprises today. Yeah. You didn't know we were yeah. all the way in central uh, Los Angeles? No, I did not. Yeah. No. And uh, you live quite far away. You know, it's amazing as you start to, as the drive, as, you, as you're as you taking the drive, how the resentment builds and builds and builds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Until finally, I, you know, I'm coming north up Arlington. What what am I doing here? Yeah. You and I live very close to each other. My company, uh, this building is in central Hollywood. Huh? That's fun. No, no, you can also use this and then he can do that. You see what I'm saying? There's, you're, you're always coloring inside the lines and that's what always kept you back. And, and <laughs> by the way, I, I think it's important for your listeners and viewers to know that Conan has already made not one, but two anti-Semitic statements to me. <laughs> yes. Personally, yeah. Keep that in. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Two. I was going to try to get to seven <laughs> before the before the hour's He's up. going to try to get to seven. I had it, someone made a bet, and it was Jeff Ross, actually, who said, I bet you can't get seven in. And uh, Adam Sachs is okay with it, too. So two Jewish people of the Jewish faith have said, let's try and get to seven. I'll keep a tally. Two. Yeah, thank you very much. Two. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is how we, you know, we traditionally start. Okay. Everyone's done it. You know, I don't All see right. why you... Hi, my name is Larry David, and I feel so-so about being Conan O'Brien's friend. That's the energy you're giving. Yeah. Since the minute you walked in. So-so, yeah. You feel so-so. So-so, yeah. You have, so far, all you've done is bitch about how how long you had to drive to get here. Okay. Uh, which okay. I thought was... See, I think, uh, again, again, uh -huh. you're accusing me of complaining, okay? I didn't say kvetch, I yeah. said bitch. Yes, but still, you're, you're treading into an area now. <laughs> I can't believe yeah. that you complaining is considered an anti-Semitic. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. All right. Well, so that, again, is that three? Is huh? that three? Yes. It's two. Um, it's two point five. Two point five. Okay. Yeah. Two point five. I think to be fair. To be fair. You uh, Larry, I dread this day, the day that you would come in here. But most people do when, you, before uh, they see me, yeah. You're really, uh, you're not a good guy, I think <laughs> it's fair to say, right? I think it's, you know. I, I, no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, you disagree. People refer to me as splendid, that I'm a splendid <laughs> I don't know if I'm a good guy. I'm a splendid You're fellow. You're a splendid fellow. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. Yeah. I would agree with that. I remember very clearly the first time I met you, You, uh, I was shooting something on the same lot where you guys shot Seinfeld. I had been doing the late night show for about two years. And uh, I walked over because I saw something was being shot and exterior was being shot. And then uh, you were standing near a table and you were eating a, a sandwich. Mm chomping away uh -huh. like a monster on a sandwich. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I got introduced to you and with a full mouth, you said, I've never, I haven't seen your show. <laughs> and you said, and I went, okay. And you said, so I don't know if you're any good or not. Oh God. <laughs> and, I, and you're with a full mouth. And I said, okay. And you went, I mean, I'm not being rude. I'm just telling you, honestly, chomp, 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 <laughs> another bite. I haven't seen your show, uh, so I can't say uh, right I, now whether you are any good or you're not any good. And I said, okay. And I remembered thinking, I respect the honesty. You didn't sugarcoat it. I, I, I have to say that does not sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's much nicer than I think. Uh, okay. Probably. All right. All right. All right. But you know what? You were my first uh, talk show. That's right. Yeah. And you were not happy about coming on a talk show. But I remembered, uh, I got you through, is the way I look at it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And and Conan, uh -oh. I'll never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget how, how, how kind you were to me. Yes. Say. In that time. Yeah. In your time, time of need, yes, really, when you think about need, it. Yeah. Because it's, it's a, you know, it's a nerve wracking thing. Your, your first uh, talk show, you know? Yeah, I guess uh, so. Yeah. And, um... I was not prepared mm -hmm. 
because I thought when you go on those shows that you actually, you, you just talk. But there's research done. People have no idea what, what goes into this. They see people on these talk shows and they think they're being all oh, spontaneous and they're just talking, but they're not. They're doing prepared material. Yes. A producer calls them beforehand. In your case, it would have been Frank Smiley. Frank Smiley. Calling you and yelling at you, yes. probably. Frank Smiley called. <clears throat> and um, I was supposed to come up with some anecdotes, I guess. But nothing in my life, nothing ever happens to me. So I, right. I, there was you had, there's not been one anecdotal <laughs> yeah. moment in your life. Exactly. <laughs> there's a terrible dearth of anecdotes. So, yeah. <laughs> To me, the secret is once people know you and like you and they know your rhythm, you don't need the anecdotes anymore. Once they knew you, through my kindness of putting you on a talk yeah. show, yeah. they got to know you. They yes. didn't know you from Curb or from Seinfeld. No. Two shows that had never really been much viewed. <laughs> but when they saw you on my show at 12.50 at night, I think <laughs> it got you through. <sighs> those were... <laughs> for those of you... <clears throat> those were loud swallows. That was a swallow. <laughs> And I don't think that's a terrible thing to do after after a swallow. Why why do why do I have to curb that? Yeah. <laughs> why should you apologize? Yeah, why should I apologize? And you know, if there are bodily functions, you you, you do it. You do you, it. You do it. I don't I, I don't think that's rude. Not at all. 